So we come to rowing a boat in the middle of the lake. Um, again, near enough, not really nice purist one there, with a, you know, again, with a squat as with a lot of them are. But again, <clears throat> we're going down the Pilates yogic path with the hypnotic responses. And again, this one, as with all the uh, specific Qigong movements, this would specifically cater for a certain organ or meridian, electromagnetic river or nadi, whatever you want to call it. Um, again, but we're not going down that path. Um, I've already done that traditionally in another tape. We're going down the path of Pilates, yoga and hypnotherapy. So a bit of a mixture of the breath, um, playing around with the breath. There's so many different types of breath you can do. But um, this one, help the kidneys, bladder and pericardium, specifically in the 18 form Qigong sequence. As with all these Qigong sequences, they believe them to specifically help different organs, like I just said, and emotions linked to them, etc. Um, but again, if you want to bring the focus to a certain organ, do that. There's nothing set in stone with these. Or just go with it and see how it feels. Because, again, it will benefit every single organ, cell, sinew of the body. The breath manifests in every single organ, cell, sinew of the body. So it doesn't have to be specifically them organs. If you want to do that, that's great. Nothing wrong with that. So again, it's just movement. So... Obviously, we're doing it in a different way, not a traditional way. Nothing wrong with that. So again, we're zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals right now. Okay, going down that Pilates path straight away. We're breathing through the nose and exhaling through pursed lips in a traditional Pilates manner. That will help you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals. We'll take the navel towards the spine and that will help you breathe anywhere but the belly button. Help you breathe low and deep into these fish gills, 3D style, organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep into these lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. If you want to see that, you can get the two middle fingers touching underneath the breast bones, palms on the lower lobes of lungs, middle fingers touching just underneath the xiphoid process, the stern and the breastbone, shoulders down as always. We're breathing through the nose, and exhaling through pursed lips. As we zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, you'll feel the breath coming low and deep to these lower lobes of lungs. And the fingers, I'm just gonna show you, be moving like seaweed on the bottom of the seabed. Adding width to the lungs and length to the out breath. Even just a micro move, a millimeter, that will be happening. Okay, that comes into them fish gills, 3D style, organ deep, cell deep even bone marrow deep into them lower lobes of lungs. Okay, because there's nowhere else for the breath to go apart from into them fish gills, 3D style. Okay, just adding width to the lungs and length for the out breath. You can let the hands go, safe in the knowledge that's happening because there's nowhere else for the breath to go. As we zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, unlike traditional Qigong, we're breathing in to these lower lobes of lungs. So if someone's opening an umbrella inside a rib cage and letting go, or someone's just pushing out from inside our ribs and letting go. Lovely, free expansive breath. Just coming in organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep into these lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. As you breathe in through the nose, follow the journey all the way in, and exhale through pursed lips. That exhale works like a sneeze, and actually helps us <laughs> gather in, zip up and hollow, and scoop out your abdominals. Take the navel towards the spine. Lovely. That would help us use the pelvic floor and the corset muscle, the powerhouse, the girdle strength, three layers deep, the transverse abdominus, which helps us segmentally stabilize the spine by taking that navel in towards the spine, zip up the hollow, navel towards the spine. Lovely, now again, we go down the yogic path, we close the mouth, and we straight away lengthen the breath without even trying, because you've got a smaller filter for the nose, so as you now breathe in for the nose and out for the nose, you'll lengthen the breath longer. 
from that smaller filter through the nose. That's a more cleansing yogic breath. Lovely. So you're still zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, keeping them Pilates principles. You breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. And that will lengthen the whole will cycle of the breath. And you naturally feel, as you do that right now, you feel that out breath want to fall longer than the in breath. So just simply allow that to happen without even trying or try not to try. Okay, and then consciously take your mind to that out breath. Okay, rather than the breath breathe you, you're gonna breathe that out breath. So you're gonna elongate the out breath longer than the in breath within your limits, not forcing anything. Okay, quadruple it, double it, triple it, whatever you like the out breath, make it longer than the in breath. And that brings in our hypnotic responses. Even in yoga, you use that out breath to melt you in to these moves, these postures. But again, also the out breath, as you do that right now, will help benefit the parasympathetic nervous system, which helps with sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation. Okay, all the housekeeping parts of the body, cellular communication, organ function, that health and renewal, that simulation, elimination of the body will be benefited by lengthening the out breath longer than the in breath for then parasympathetic nervous system responses. As you're breathing in, allowing that breath to manifest in every single organ cell in your body and elongating the out breath longer than the in breath, allowing that simplicity just to relax the mind at will. Lovely, and as that relaxes the mind at will, you can either stick with that breathing, still zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, breathing out through the nose, as you simply elongate the out breath longer than the in breath. Very similar to 7-11 breathing in hypnotherapy. Could be in for 10, so it could be in for seven and out for 10, it doesn't matter. Again, everyone's count will be different, not that we're counting. That brings that hypnotic response in towards the body. And as that does that, you can stick with that breathing before we link it to motion, optional to you. Now, if you want to take this on a little bit further, if you can get it, don't worry. If you can't get it, don't worry, shall I say. If you, if you can, great. If you can't, don't worry. Just carry on breathing, that's perfectly good enough. Slightly more advanced at yogic breath, called Ujjayi breath, victorious breath in Sanskrit. All you do is grip your esophagus, and you make, you breathe in, you make this sort of sound, you breathe in. Watch these shoulders, they will want to come up and exhale. You get that soft, silky, whistling, ujjayi breath, victorious breath in Sanskrit. Okay, and you get that soft, whistling, silky sound from the back of the throat, that raspy sound, seashore breath. Okay, it's like breathing through the nose, you grip it esophagus, it's a smaller filter, again, so that's helping us lengthen that whole wheel cycle of the breath even longer. Especially the out breath, we're going longer. But again, if you can't get it done, wherever you can, it's a... Shoulders down and exhale. As you get that raspy, silky sound from the back of the throat, that'll give the mind something to focus on within the movements. And the forms, okay? Be aware of the sound of the breath, the feel of the breath, that weaves that tapestry of relaxation, that natural focusing breath, that gives the mind something to focus on, which we do in everyday life. We do these fine motor skills, something we're concentrating, we do that sigh, but we're overemphasizing that sound. So that gives the mind something to focus on. As you're still zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, breathing through the nose, and exhaling. That helps stimulate the thyroid gland, which helps us weight control, etc. And that ujjayi breath helps us fan the fire, burn all the toxins in the body. Ujjayi breath. Don't underestimate what your breath can do. Remember, your breath can cool down your food, or it can warm up your hands in winter. So when you specifically go to ujjayi breath, you can warm up single cell sing you the body lovely so let's go a breath synchronized movement manner 
vinyasa in Sanskrit, we're going to go straight to this move. So it's quite a squat motion. So it's like a purest um, Qigong motion. But as with all these, only going as deep as you like. I'm going to stick to the Iyengar Yoga principles with a, with a squat motion. No further than knees and arm and toes. Hip width apart or slightly wider. If you want to sprite the range, don't go in that deep. A centimetre, a millimetre or a foot. Make it unique to you. Okay, you just want to do the arm motion, fine. If you've really got any bad problems. But again, we're going to zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. I'm going to go back and demonstrate. Okay, again, we're going to breathe in and exhale down. Now, feet hip width apart, they're not Charlie and Chaplin, they're facing the front, not directly, you know, they're going to be slightly out. And we're going to breathe in and exhale down. Real basic motions, these. No further than knees and arm and toes. Then breathing come up, but just make the out breath longer than the in breath. If you finish the movement before, don't worry, just carry on with the exhale and then start again. So we get that hypnotic response. Breathing in is one of the best stretches you can get. It's like Setu Tadasana out of yoga. You're stretching the front line of the body from the crown to the toes. Anything that helps us lengthen up in its gravity is good. Be short on this and long here. Now again, if you want to go deeper, only go as deep as knees and arm and toes, you want to go deeper and you feel fine, then tailbone deep, only as low as you keep the knees and arm and toes, breathing, reaching up. Don't hyper extend the neck, look up for the eyebrow, Arjuna, exhaling down. As you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out the abdominals, pushing up for the heels. These are organic, they're coming up from the ground. Breathing in, exhaling down, descending down, breathing in, reaching up. If you're a couple of the toes you can do, that add a little bit more instability to the pelvic floor and the corset muscle, optional. Allow the shoulders to drop down though, because they will want to come up. You can even just get the shoulders down here, and then set to Tadasana part here, exhaling down. Clapping inwards, dying off, thinking tiny waist, breathing in, reaching up. Reaching, stretching that front line of the body, gathering against the instability, exhaling down for as long as you like with that out breath. So again, with that motion, exploit that rain, speed and tempo. Slow as hard or fast is easier. The deeper you go, the harder it is. Okay, and obviously, as not as deep, the easier it is. So again, just do it to suit you. And the part, the descending part, elongate the out breath. Nothing set in stone, these are just different ways of doing it. It's just all mind candy, don't get too caught up in it. Makes you feel good with that vibration at the end then great. Again, rowing about in the middle of the lake. Um, I've heard it called other things, but again, that's a really good one. It will, I know they specifically say different organs, but a lot of the bending ones will help the kidneys. Um, Shinsu, the kidneys um, as well. And it will massage all the internal organs. Obviously we're not going so much with that breathing because that's breathing the belly like a balloon more with the traditional stuff, but still do that. That lower abdomen and get squeezed like a pump or a bellows with the breath, the motion, the movement. Just get lost in the breath, the motion, and the movement as you elongate the out breath longer than the in breath. Now that simplicity to relax the mind, lifting the ball next, bang.